Hey, this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Um, I made a video last night when I went out and checked on the pigs. It was 12, and uh, I think if you check that video out, you can see it was snowing, and it wound up snowing all night, and we got, I don't know, six or eight inches. And so on a day when we get snow, my job is to come out and clear snow. So I did that with the tractor a little bit this morning, but then I came over and I started up my pickup. Um, the pickup for me works better than the front end loader to move snow. And I can listen to tunes in here and it's warm <clears throat> and it's still snowing. And uh, we've got another situation that's going on too. It's going to get up to uh, 40 degrees today. And the weatherman says it's going to continue to precipitate. So that means ice storm. So I got to get as much of the snow out of the way on the driveways and stuff as I possibly can. So I'm going to do that. But I was just sitting here in my truck, uh, warming it up, and uh, <clears throat> I was thinking about all the things that work for me. You know, I'm trying to do this this positive thinking thing about our business and what works and what doesn't. And I have a few things around here that don't work for sure. And uh, you know, they need to go. They just need to go away. Whether it's attitudes or behaviors or uh, equipment that, the, that constantly fails or programs that constantly fail, they just need to go away and we need to work with stuff that really works. Um, and I, I was going through all of the uh, different processes that we do. Pasture poultry really works well. I mean, we sell every chicken that we produce. That's not hard to do. Um, the problem with it is it takes a ton of manpower to make it happen. So as soon as you quit more pouring the manpower into it, uh, you know, your your proceeds come to a, a screeching halt. And then you, there is the, uh, you know, there's if you don't know what you're doing, you can have a train wreck in a hurry. So that's the downside of poultry. But, uh, you know, I'm looking at my pigs, and I, I'm over by the east field right now, and this is where I had the truck, because it's over by the, the greenhouse. And uh, why don't I show you the front of the greenhouse while we're here? I don't know if I ever showed this. It looks kind of cute with all the snow in front of it. I got a fire going. I'm not working in there today, but it's just so enticing to get a fire going and have that moist heat so I can step in. But over here by the east field, I have three sows over here, and they're in with a boar. And he's kind of somebody that I separated because I liked him. But he didn't really exhibit the traits so much that, uh, you know, the Mangalitsa is known for. But he does, he, he does look good. Um, but here's a blonde over here. And... You know, here it is, it's 25 degrees out, the wind's blowing a little bit. Um, it snowed last night, it's snowing now still. And look at these animals. Just look at them. They're thriving. They're not just making it, you know, I don't have to put them in the barn on inclement weather. They're all out today. Every one of them is out, just like it's uh, another day. Uh, the snow doesn't bother them. They lay down in the snow. If you saw the video that I made last night, I went out to check over on the west field. I got five sows over there and I went to check them just because it had started snowing and I don't know. Before I go to bed, if I check them, I sleep better. And uh, so I went to check them just to see if anybody was building nests or anything like that. Nothing like that. But three of them we're sleeping outside, and I show you the porta huts are right there with nice fresh straw in them. Just enticing to go in in the fresh straw, but nope, they lay out in the snow. And that's what they were doing. They were on straw, they had broken down a bale right there, and they were kind of embedded in it. But there was, you know, two inches of snow on their back. And it just so happens, I went out there this morning at when the sun came up right enough to see and when I went out they had about four inches of snow on them they hadn't moved all night and they stood up shook off 
and their their coats were glistening um, their tails were wagging there was not a hint of shivering it was just like another day in the park so I just got kind of chills down my spine when I think here is an animal that is suited for the north I mean look at these animals and they're almost magical they create fine quality pork probably the best out of uh, you know very little I, I put very little into these guys I dropped a hay bale up here I fed them some fresh green hay this morning they have three porta huts in here because there's three girls um, and they're they're pretty prego so uh, you know I gave them three huts and they have a communal hut that they're in and they all stay in there until they're ready to go but uh, just just an amazing animal uh, so I don't know I just felt like sharing that uh, from a farmer's point of view when you have something that really works good you stay with it Mangalitz has been that way for me it's Mark Baker's Green Acres. Anyone can farm.